Hi everyone, in this video I want to cover how to replace a 3G communicator with an LTE communicator in preparation of the 3G sunset. Before we start, there are a few things that you'll need. The reporting number. This is provided by your central station. The MAC and CRC of the new communicator. This can be located on the communicator's box or on a sticker on the communicator. The MAC of the old communicator. If you are utilizing the upgrade incentive, you will also need your company's ADI account number and billing zip code. Once you have gathered this information and are logged in to AlarmNet 360, make sure you are on the programming page. You will see the page name in the top left. If you need to navigate to the programming page, hover over the devices icon in the menu on the left, then choose programming. Pull up the account for the communicator you are replacing by searching for the Mac or the city, CS, and account number. From the Actions drop-down menu on the right-hand side, choose Replace Device, then click the blue arrow. The first window is simply confirming the city, CS, and account. Click Next. Enter the MAC and CRC of the new LTE communicator, then click Next. Enter the MAC of the old communicator. Select whether this is a customer-aided installation or not, and the replacement reason. After choosing that you are upgrading from 3G, you can check the box for the incentive program. If you are using this program, you will enter your company's ADI account number and billing zip code. After all selections are made, click Next. If the account has an existing Total Connect 2.0 account, this will transfer over by default. Continue through these windows related to Total Connect 2.0, making changes as needed, and clicking Next to move forward. Verify the account details on the summary page. If everything is correct, click Finish. You can now view your account on the device programming page. To finalize the account, there are two more things that need to be done. First, from the Actions drop-down menu on the right-hand side, choose Send Data to Device, then click the blue arrow. Please be patient, as this can take up to three minutes. You can refresh the device programming page, and once data has been successfully sent, you will see a down arrow along with the time data was sent under transfer date. Once data has successfully been sent from the Actions drop-down menu on the right-hand side, choose Register, then click the blue arrow. This can also take several minutes to complete. If you have access to the communicator, the top green and yellow LEDs will flash in unison during the registration process. If successful, the top green LED will turn off. In AlarmNet 360 on the device programming page, you can refresh to see if the registration was successful. Once complete, the account number on the left, which was once in red, is now green. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.